A quick look at some new pedals I bought from my fat tire bike. Semi-fat tire bike, I call it, because it's a 275 by 3 not a 26 by 4 These pedals were made by Welgo, a pretty big brand in pedals. And I really like the construction and appearance. You know, generally, everything's positive at this point. But there's one big negative, and that's friction. And the uh, thing is, I saw a generic version of these pedals that I was going to buy. They were like $2 cheaper. You know, not a big deal. But one of the comments, when I read the reviews, one of the comments was high friction on the uh, spindle. Which seems to be a real common problem with pedals. I don't know how if I could show you the friction. You know, obviously it won't spin. But you can actually feel kind of a vibration. I'm going to try to couple that vibration through to the camera. Pretty rough surface inside the bearing. I don't understand why so many pedals are like this. I've got kind of an odd little story. You can maybe skip ahead if you don't like story time here. I had a friend who was real fussy about this, you know, friction in the pedals. And he should be, because uh, that's a lot of friction. And it adds up. You know, there was replacement boogie wheels, the little wheels on your uh, derailleur. You could replace the stock ones with ones with really good bearings, and it was said to save you a whole bunch of energy, you know, because it adds up. It's a quantity, you know, it's like riding up a certain amount of hill. Well, if that is true, then this has got to be a much bigger loss. My only hope is that they wear in. But I'm probably fooling myself. I looked at several of my bikes, and I see, you know, most of my bikes, the, they don't want to spin. I remember when I was a kid, you know, our old pedals always spun real well. Hmm. Anyway, back to my story about Bill Norquay. He uh, returned some pedals to a bike store, and I'm the guy who ended up buying the returned pedals, it turns out. I bought these pedals for a good price at a bike store. Not these pedals, but some pedals for my 10-speed. And, uh, you know, they were used, or they were... I, they gave me kind of a, not much of a story on them. But they looked okay, so I put, bought them for the price they were offering them and uh, put them on my bike, and I was happy with them. And my friend Bill Norquay saw the pedals. <laughs> he was, well, that's probably the pedals I returned. <laughs> and he had returned them because there was too much friction on the shaft. And it was less than these are. These aren't meant to be heavy duty, of course, but and the other irony is, you know, that I saw the generic ones and didn't buy them because the review said they had too much friction. Well, these got just as much or more than those would have had, probably. But at this point, I'm going to put them on. In fairness, the stock pedals sure, have Mongoose branded pedal on it, but the stock pedals are no better, you know, there's no spin to these either. So it's not like I'm changing for the worse. A little update on the bicycle. I'm very happy with this bike. It's not quite the winter bike I hoped it would be as far as going into any kind of deep snow. If you have a trail going, of course you can keep a trail going. It's better than a regular mountain bike in snow, that's for sure. It's pretty good in snow. These new tires helped a lot, but um, I don't know if it compares to a 26 by 4 inch type tire in snow. I've never tried such a bike in snow, so... Whether that would do better than these 27.5 by 3 inch tires is an open question. You'd have to have both bikes and compare. This bike's got a little wider footprint, you know, front to back, even though it's narrower. So it's hard to say how much difference there is. I am strongly thinking of buying a 26 by 4 e-bike, but that's another issue for another time. Been thinking about it for a few years, actually. Really looking at the M2, what is it, M2 something? Happy with this bike. It's getting used year-round. Not quite the winter trooper I hoped it would be, but it's still pretty good. Obviously, I've been using it in the winter. These tires have not seen uh, warm weather yet. They still have a little bit of a bump to them. I changed out the stock tires for these tires. I might do a little review on those too, but wait for warm weather to see if the, uh, they gallop a little because they were folded up. They were sent to me folded up. Didn't really need a uh, foldable tire for this type of bike. I'd rather bought these tires at a lower cost with a steel rim if they'd have been available like that. But the uh, compound definitely does better in the ice than uh, stock tires, which were miserable in the ice.
all these type of bikes are bad on the ice because they're so high up with the 27.5 wheel it's one drawback they're not good on ice but these tires definitely did help there's a little bit of uh, something better than the rubber silica so I'm gonna swap these pedals out and uh, see how it goes about 189 grams for the Welgo and about 162 for the mongoose original pedal 189 versus 162 for weight in grams had a huge struggle getting these out they have some kind of uh, tape on them or something anti-seize I would think someone was put on the threads man they were tough of course the one you know left side has got a left hand thread that throws you off too of course even though I knew it would I couldn't get it to move either way so I was getting stymied I had to use a park wrench even though it flipped out a couple times it was over torqued so hard because it was just too thin to get in here with a regular wrench so the main feature of this pedal is that it has a cleat on one side for SPD compatible cleats and on the other side it's got rubber grippies so even if you're not wearing your bicycle shoes you can wearing your sandals or whatever you still got a nice flat surface for your sandals and if you do have uh, bicycle shoes you can use the cleat these actually have cleats even though they are just sandals and voila I'll have to try it on board the idea though is uh, I wanted something I could pull up on for uh, bicycling in the winter because it's you need all the torque you can get in the winter and if you stop you would get stuck you know you, you don't want to stop when you're moving through deep snow so being able to pull upwards on my pedals will somewhat help my snow cutting abilities a pair of cleats were included with the hardware you need to put into your shoes I've got two more pairs of bike shoes but I can't find them right now they must both be downstate one pair is getting pretty worn I'm gonna have to shop around for a new pair